plot twist. The villain that kidnapped was actually Barbatos. It's not really a plot twist, right? It's like, could he really be the bad person? It's like, why? I thought we we're kind of friends, but not really. Bro's just jealous because we share the same master and he's not going to have to kill him. He gets to inherit everything. So he felt like he got cheated out of that. So he's been biding his time, acting kind of friendly, not really. Just kind of hanging in there, just biding his time. And here he is. He fucking stole it. But it's like, it's not going to work that way. Zagan is an arc demon now. He has that emblem crest that gives him like superior powers. But even on top of that, Nephi is so strong that I thought that maybe Nephi herself would just clutch and just like save herself. Maybe even save Zagan. I don't know. I just want a scene where it's not Zagan holding Nephi. I want Nephi to be holding Zagan. I think that would make for very fun times. Besides that, it's good that Nephi has other friends. Who does she got? She got that harpy girl. She's super nice. We got that angelic night girl. That's super nice. You know, we got some girls. We got some homies that Nephi can rely on. And the rest of the villagers too. They just all love Nephi. She's actually so popular here. Everyone's gonna accept her. Everything should be fine. Let's have some hero rescue moments. Let's begin today's episode. <laughs> How dare you do that? No, it's you! <laughs> you kidnapping me, putting me in shackles, and dragging me? It doesn't even come close when that autistic motherfucker told me to leave because he didn't know how to fucking communicate his feelings, bro. Jesus Christ, really? Not even compared to what he told me to leave. <laughs> Let's go, Nefi! Zagan! Ark Demon! Mao! Oh, what? She's no longer excommunicated? So he always kind of knew? So it was Brabatos the entire time. Okay. That's how he's like a predatory. Pocket dimensions. Temporary space. Wait, is she also Yeah, they all got they all got fucking stolen. <laughs> That's crazy. So wait, wait. So so she's here with us too? Brabatos took her. I I thought Bra I, I thought Brabatos only took Nephi. So she's stuck here and we gotta save her at some point too, huh? It's funny how she's still stuck and you know, struggling while Nephi just got rescued by Zagan and she's gonna have to wait until the fight's over. Imagine we just leave her here. We just ignore her. We forget about her. Zaga knew the entire time and was keeping his enemies close. You heard her worse, dude. The fuck? Was that just Taijutsu? He just cutting with his hand? Did I miss something? At what point did the collar come off? We had the key. We got the key and we got the key and we unlocked it. And she, yeah, and then I think I made the comment of, oh, I kind of wish that she would have just kept it on because, uh, you know, it would prove that it's not about, you know, some kind of forced contract, but it's, it's, it's more like, uh, what's the word, you know, like, I, I choose to be with you, but okay, okay, okay. Oh! Go, go like this on his chest. <laughs> He's been so alone all the time that he got so used to it. And Nephi realizes this. They can both fix each other. Yo, Barbatos is still here, by the way. <laughs> oh, I feel like Zaka is so much stronger, it doesn't matter. Bokono! <laughs> How? Disrupting magic. He just destroys the magic circles? Override the middle, right? Each time you have a magic circle, the middle is like the universe. If you can override the middle, you take control of it. So I thought that was impossible. But after achieving Arc Demon status, he can do it now? <laughs> this is some Onisama shit from Mahoka. From within. All right, he just knows how to do it. Is it? Okay, so this is not just like Arc Demon power up. This is his own innovation. I thought that the Arc Demon crest emblem thing that he got somehow powered him up, but it's like, nah, 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 nah. This is all Zagan right now. Yeah, and he basically memorized that shit. Ooh. 
He used his own blood after memorizing that circle, seeing it once, and basically just tattooed it in his own hand and burned it into his memory, and then he used it to override and kill Andras? Is that how he did it? Cancel his magic! Could he do at this point? He already could at 8 years old! Holy shit. I thought this was like a new discovery. But we never realized, we never were told exactly how the story, the backstory finished, right? We just know that he killed him somehow. So he was already able to counter his magic. Miracle? Are you insane? The main character, I'm sorry. What is the point of magic if you can't even use it anymore? Yep. I feel like he's over-exaggerating there. Even an amateur? Okay. Basically, 10 years of just being a fucking neat. Just reading books all the time. No, that's not being a neat. He, he's been grinding, right? And while everyone was partying, he was studying the blade. No, sorry, the, the magic. Power. Barbatos. This is sad how this relationship turned out. I mean, they pretty much were. And then jealousy. お前が何を仕掛けようとしてるか気になっただけだ。Okay. He takes what exists and makes it better. The magic devourer. What? Zagan the what? Zagan the what? Zagan the bitchless. Zagan the virgin. Zagan the acoustic. Zagan the slave owner. <laughs> like, what's he gonna say? No, it's gotta be a cool name, right? It's like Barbatos the Purgatory. You know, it's all tuny, it's all cool. Zagan the Lightning. De no, Zagan the Devourer. That's it. That's it. That's actually it. He just said it, right? Devourer. That sounds cool, right? It's gonna be Zagan the Devourer. Zagan the Devourer. Muadib! <laughs> a Vadaikan needs a warrior name. <laughs> Muadib. No, no, no. So he, he gets a arc demon name, second name. That's pretty sick. Sorcerer Slayer. Because they are sorcerers, but he kills sorcerers. He slays them. That, that's one of the coolest thing here. A very interesting thing about this title is when you like um add the word slayer at the end, it just becomes better than what it was before. So let me explain to you like this, right? If you have a style called like, I'm the God, right? You're a God. But then like God Slayer shows up. It's like, oh, it's just better, right? So it, it just, whatever title you have, just add Slayer at the end and it just becomes better. <laughs> yeah, God Slayer Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> you deserve this shit, you piece of shit. Look at that fucking laser eye, man! No mercy. Triple tap! Nope. Or maybe? Could we? Shit, you thought we were friends? Oh shit. Wait! That's his line, right? Barbato said that before. Can a sorcerer even conceive of that idea, friends? I swear to God, this is a callback. Barbato says something like this in the earlier episode, and I was like, huh, I guess sorcerers don't really have friends. Uno reverse card, no you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, we, we unlocked her. We, accidentally, we saved her here. I thought we were totally just gonna forget about her. <laughs> Someone's gotta make that into a gift, bro. This is a classic anime out of context gift. <laughs> 
Are we friends then? What are we doing? We're going to keep him around just for good liquor. Yeah, you can't hurt me. I'm going to let you live. I'm just more worried about what he might do to Nephi. Zakan's going to be fine. Alright. Good shua shua. Good liquor. That actually does make sense. Let's go! This is pretty base from Zagan, man. It's true, because he is an arc demon. Why wouldn't I act like that, right? And there was a comment here that was mentioned, something about Nephi, right? If I want Nephi to live openly in the world, aside from all the prejudice, then I'll just simply do that, right? So we're gonna, like, what? Declare war on all the people that hates, like, this cursed child? Which is predominantly just the elves, right? No other people kind of do that, right? Anyways, that kind of leads into future shit. You'll be a humble arc demon then. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, Chastiru, what's up? Why is it glowing? It's not Bravatos. No, no, his face. It's not him. It's not him. The bro is so strong, he's accidentally did this. I subconsciously engaged with this captain circle by striking down to strike strong there. Summon? The battle's not over yet? And with Zagan's power there, a true demon. I see some tentacles. Let me see it! What the fuck? It looks like some kind of octopus. Some kind of seafood. Okay, a demon backstory. Because it's like, they're called arc demons, but they're not actually demons, right? This is just a title. But actual demons do exist. In ancient times. But there are theories that the symbols used in sorcery and the church is from demons? Hmm, so it's like the devils passed on their magic circles to, you know, the sorcerers and the gods passed down their shit to the church, but... Maybe it's the other way around. I don't know. Like a primordial ancient being. This is a demon? Chastil actually passed out! Okay, so it's not a per- it's not an actual demon. This is some, like, imperfect summon. It's a shadow due to... No sacrifice. I can't believe how strong it is! You know what? I think this is the perfect opportunity to get what, we, what I was asking for last episode. And I didn't want Nephi to be saved. I want Nephi to save herself and maybe even Zagan. Right now, what if Nephi pops up with mysticism? If you try to hurt Zagan, Nephi won't allow it. Malige! Arise! Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, 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 wait. It, it, it's, 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 it's bowing down? What the fuck? Is this a pen? Do we have a new familiar? What is this? Waga! Wait! He's our soldier now? Arc demon. Is this specific to Arc demons or just Andras? Maybe every arc demon has like a demon that just obeys them because of the emblem? Sorry. <laughs> Get out of here! No, I'm so lonely! <laughs> oh, this is kind of mean! This is Nephi! This is Nephi again, bro. Why- why are you saying this shit? I just showed up, I wanna serve you! And you just like, Get the fuck out of my house! Pack your bags! <laughs> Look, he's crying! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Nah, 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 fuck you guys. If, I, if that demon in that form actually changed into some kind of waifu, bro, you, you motherfuckers would have all folded and said the same shit. Where are they all dwell? And I'm confused on whether or not this is specific to Andras' emblem that, you know, Zagan has on the behavior of a demon just like saying, by the king, my liege, you know? Or is it every arc demon that this behavior happens? My bad. That's not Andres's. Andres is the guy that we killed as a child. 
There's a separate de arc demon that had Nephi before. What was his name? Marcosius. That's the one. My bad, my bad. I, I was getting Andres and Marcosius wrong. Andres is the kid. I mean, sorry, the, the one that the kid killed. And then Marcosius is the one that inherited that also had Nephi, you know, there. So, like, yeah, again, is it just Marcosius or is it, you know, every arc demon? I don't know. <laughs> one, two, three, three girls, and then one, two, just gripping him by the left. Oh, the Cerulean Knights, the idiot trio. It's the idiot trio. <laughs> yeah, he's talking shit. Get out of here. <laughs> Says you! Yeah, we do need to do that. We need to go home and uh, eat that lamb stew. Yeah, what are we gonna do, bro? Give me some good liquor. He wouldn't dare cross him anymore because of the, the summoning thing. That was even crazier, yeah? Pretty much. Give me that top shelf Shua Shua. I don't know how to feel about him. What he did was fucked. But I guess we're just kind of back to being friends as if we were ever friends. I don't know. It's eh, enemies to friends. I don't know. He took the L in a gracious way at the end. And uh, now what? This is kind of awkward. <laughs> You guys ever have this opportunity? Like, you're like in a group setting, right? There's like four, four dudes, and when, when there's like four people around, five people around, everyone just like talking, having fun, <laughs> then one leaves, and it's like four, and two leaves, and it's just two, and it's like, shit, um, fuck. I wouldn't really want to talk to you personally if it was just two, but like, I just gotta hang out with you because we're a group, but <laughs> it's just kind of like, ah, shit, what do we do? Yeah. Ain't no way you said me in voice chat. It's like a Discord. You a bunch of people in chat. You're just hanging out. They all leave. There's two people in voice chat now. It's like, <clears throat> um, shit, uh, exit. Bye. Oh. Eh? Mentally, yes. What? What is it? Will you marry me? Why are you getting on one knee? Oh. 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 Okay, it's Zakan now. Something else? No more apprentice? What is it now then? What are we? Are, oh, he's gonna fuck this up. Oh no, it's so good! It's so good so far! I feel like he's gonna fuck this up as he always does. For, that's the whole point of the show, right? He just can't finish it. I love you! I see you more than a friend! Oh. You know what? This is actually good. I thought he would fuck it up. He, instead of going to like a 10 by saying I love you, I, I, I want to be more than friends, he went to a fucking 100. I fucking own you. <laughs> Wait, not, 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 not like it's like, no. He, he just went completely aggro. You belong to fucking me <laughs> until <laughs> one of us dies. No, <laughs> even <laughs> after death. Post death, Riz. <laughs> and the sun's about to rise. <laughs> It could have been way worse. I think he did a good thing here. Instead of just saying I love you, which would have been like here, he went all the way up fucking here. Hi. Ooh. Oh. No, no. It's by choice, right? It's it's, it's that slave collar is. It's 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 not. Let me be your slave again. No. It's by choice it's almost like it's taboo right slave slave owner right you're marked you're branded but she trusts him so much that she's willing to put it on because she knows him and he knows her <laughs> yeah i don't know i mean the color maybe it'd be a little bit more palpable a little bit more tasteful if we could like you know shrink the fucking color into like a ring, some kind of accessory, right? And just like, I don't know, just have it around. Engage ring to your bunny, a marini pussy. Engage with slave colors. <laughs> Sunrise. Bro confessed with no, bro proposed with a slave collar is might be the title of today's episode. Like, what in the fuck am i watching bro but she likes it she, it's consensual okay that's what matters at the end of the day 
she wants it. Who are you to judge? You fucking random ass motherfucker. You, you judging this relationship, bro? Come on now. You don't understand them? They love each other. That's why she's willing to put on a fucking slave collar. as an engagement ring. You do you. Oh, what's he gonna say? Fiance. A lover. Not yet. Don't fuck this up. Don't cliffhanger me either. He said it! Oh? Good news is spreading, and who is that girl? Oh, wait, no, those are one of the two candidates we saw in the arena in episode one. I remember them. <laughs> okay, Rias. What is that bra? Like, like, what is that? How did she make that? Because it's not just like a bra. It just got like random marks. It's almost like, I don't know. I, I, I'm asking the wrong questions right now. メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。メリアス。
Zagan just kind of... He did actually not ruin it today. He... I thought that he might say some dumb shit and just like push her away. But instead of like pushing her away, he just kind of like committed even harder. Instead of saying, I love you, he says, you belong to me until the fucking afterlife. No, even beyond the fucking afterlife. What are you going to do, Zagan? Are you going to go to the afterlife with her or are you going to fucking dig up her corpse and be a fucking necrophiliac? I don't really know. The other stuff is basically Chastiel retiring. She says, you know what? I believe in my own way. Fuck the church. And I hope the Cerulean Knights also comes with Chastiel to our castle. I don't really know. There's these two as well, right? We have Gremory and we have this other guy as well as the lizard person who are all sorcerers that I think we saw in episode one. And they... Gremory said things are about to get interesting. So I wonder who the next antagonist or what the next arc is going to be. But that's it from me if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.